While Southern Lehigh's offense has been the star of the show, the highlight on Friday was their starter on the mound. Freshman Logan Kessler, who was making his varsity debut on Friday night, he'd go four scoreless innings under the lights at Limeport, not allowing a hit until there were two outs in the fourth, that giving way to the success at the plate for his Spartan teammates. Already with a one-run advantage headed into the bottom of the third, Southern Lehigh would add to that total. Landon Beeler and Matt Tankred drawing walks, putting runners on the corners, and it would be Will Woodring to send one home. Woodring shot to left center, plates Beeler to make it a 2-0 game. Austin Bonds hard hit to first will then load the bases for Jansen Brown. Brown's sacrifice fly to right will send home Tankred. The throw is not in time as the Spartans now hold the 3-0 edge. And then Luke Lee, the very next batter, will then make this a four-run game with the liner to short. The RBI single gives Southern Lehigh now a 4-0 lead at the end of three. One inning later now, Michael Andrews first hit a big one. A two-run RBI double will plate Beeler and Patty Laughlin to extend Southern Lehigh's lead, now 6-0 through four. Crusader Zach Rogers would come in to relieve Connor Rex. A pop-out, ground-out, and a strikeout gets him out of the inning. He would not allow a hit or run in the final three innings of work. That helping to give the Crusaders a spark. They'd have a solid top of the fifth, plating three. After a single and a walk to start the inning, Ben Moisen cranks one to right for the RBI double, scoring Quintano. And then Jackson Schollenberger follows that up with a two RBI single. That goes just under the third baseman's glove and all of a sudden it's six to three. The Crusaders are able to tack on another in the next inning off Moisen's second RBI of the night. The single plates one to make it a two-run game in the top of the sixth. That effort pretty much coming to a halt, though, at the hands of Matt Tankred, who would come in for relief. The senior finishing the night out for the Spartans, not allowing a single hit through the final 1.2 innings and striking out four to help his team go on to post the 6-4 to four final score. That's the only team in my high school career I still haven't beat yet, so it definitely feels pretty good to finally knock them off. But, I mean, it was just a hell of a game just from our whole team, top to bottom. I mean, we started freshman, his first varsity start. I mean, he could have done better for us. I mean, he went out there four innings, no runs really put us up early and kept us confident and we just rode his momentum to the win. We came in here, coach told us that we should uh, outbat them and I think that's what we did in the first couple innings. We had a few hiccups in those innings that we gave up runs but got the job done. It's obvious this Southern Lehigh team is riding high right now, winning their fourth straight and handing Notre Dame their first loss of the year. But what's been most impressive has simply been the confidence that these guys have in each other. These guys come confident, you know, and I'm pretty much just letting them play. And, you know, I listen to Coach Nyman a lot of the just get the heck out of the way, you know, and that's a little bit what I'm doing. We still got to find a third guy to get, fourth guy to get on that mound. Um, that's going to go a long way in the playoffs. But, you know, right now we're, we're sitting good. On the scene at Lineport Stadium, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the FC Network.